Hello students. Today we are going to deal about our first chapter of English literature, Two Fishes and a Frog. Children, this is a story taken from Panchatantra. Do you remember that book? Many of you must have studied that book or your parents would must have told you about the stories of this book. Uh, right now, in this video, I am going to tell you the exact meaning or the exact story in my own word. And uh, I would like to say to you that you must read this chapter by your own twice or thrice so that you can understand it in more better way. Okay, so let's start. Uh, have a look on this chapter. We will try to understand that what the writer wants to make us understand okay in this chapter there are five main characters a frog two fishes and two fishermen this is the story plotted upon a jungle a jungle pond where all the animals lived peacefully and happily it's one of the main character the frog and the fishes were very good friends one day when they were busy in talking, they noticed two fishermen coming with their baskets towards the pond. They were talking about their own business works like catching the fishes and selling them in market. Until then, they noticed many fishes peeping out of the ponds and going down again and again. One of the fishermen suggested that they should must come tomorrow again and catch these fishes from the ponds the other man agreed and they went back the frog and the fishes heard this and the frog got worried about their safety but the fishes were overconfident and they said why do you worry man nothing would happen just chill but the frog tried to convince them on the idea of leaving the pond and going to some and going to some safe place they were so overconfident and proud in themselves that they rejected the idea at once the poor frog parted his way from them and went to a well with his family on the other day the fisherman actually came and caught many fishes along with the frog's friends too the poor frog watched helplessly and thought overconfident is very bad. Students, in this chapter, I have underlined some of the hard words which may create a problem in your pronunciations. Just see what is there. Spend. It is S-P-E-N-D. We call it spend. Fisherman. Towards. Tomorrow. Agree. Worried, boastfully, inst insisted, foresee, talent, and adamant. Okay, these are the words. These are hard words. I will write them down for you in the copy. And I will also give you the meanings. And you must read them again and again. So, uh, okay, uh, children. Uh, this is, was the story for today. And I hope you like it and understand the actual lesson of these things that we must be over we must never be overconfident overconfidence is very bad okay so i hope you got my words you will you understand the lesson and you will follow these the lessons in your real life and learn the basic things from it okay so have a nice day and thank you